Hello folks, today I'm going to show you how I did a sideboard cook setup, how I did the bed extension, and how I did separate power sourced LED lighting in our 99 GMC Savannah van, conversion van, that I have turned into a camper, but can be put back to a conversion van if necessary. Let's go check it out. Hey folks, welcome to the Dark Hollow Garage. So this is the area that I want to do my sideboard in. I call it a sideboard because I'm not going to make a cabinet, but I'm going to build like a countertop that is going to also be a cooktop to where I can put it in when I go camping and I can take it out when I'm using it as a regular passenger van. So I did some measuring, kind of got my configuration figured out and cut it and glued and screwed it together. If you look at the shade and the sideboard there, the shade goes down into it. I cut a slot for the shade to go down into it. Now what holds this in place, believe it or not, in the previous picture there's a drink holder a cup holder there well i took the plastic insert out of the cup holder and fastened a piece of pvc pipe the same size as the hole and it is fastened to the bottom of the sideboard so it really is only the cup holder that holds it in place and it works absolutely perfect and we also have this water fountain that we're going to incorporate here. I'll talk more about it in a little bit. I went ahead and used this regular countertop Formica or laminate, glued it down, and then used a router around the edges so that we have a nice cleanable top. I got this rechargeable battery powered water faucet off of Amazon and underneath it is a wood dowel that is drilled and glued into the top to keep it stable. Once the bottom piece, the actual countertop part of it was done, I went ahead and stained everything with espresso or espresso stain and kind of got my little kitchen layout set up. I used a couple of uh, aluminum pieces and screwed them down and used an old cutting board here. I cut the cutting board to fit and it slides out and slides in on those aluminum rails. And there's a reason that I wanted it to slide in and out because I got another addition to show you here in just a second. But this is kind of our sideboard kitchen layout. I cut out another piece of wood and laminated it with the same stuff I did as for the countertop there. And I got this little Coleman single burner that I put down through a hole that I cut in the, the slide in board so that I could easily set up for morning coffee or uh, if it's raining outside, we don't feel like being out under the easy up, we just want to stay in the van if it's miserable, we could cook up some dinner, some burgers or something on this little cooktop. So we're about camp ready now. So here's the original, what it looks like without it. Then what it looks like with just the cutting board set up. It's all set in place in the van now. And also what it looks like with the little cooktop set up. So we are diversified here. We are ready to go with a little sideboard camping setup. And here's a photograph of the first time we ever tried it. We went camping at the lake and we gave the old setup a shot worked out pretty good and I forgot to mention that uh, water faucet there has a line running down to a five gallon jug well not a five gallon it's, I think it's a three gallon uh, fresh water jug down behind the driver's seat now in conversion vans like these the high top ones there's a TV up above the driver with a what was it old video recorder stuff and it was all stolen out of it before I ever bought the van so I decided to use it for camping storage, you know, keeping your paper plates and stuff up there. Well, this board here is going to cover that area and become a door. And now that entire front over the driver and passenger 
is storage. We've got, oh geez, pots and pans and paper plates and all kinds of stuff up in there now. Okay, so our sideboard little kitchen type setup's all done. All right, now it's time to move on to a nice comfortable bed, which you can see to the left. I made a contraption, I guess I call it, to uh, hold the foot part of the mattress up and also to store our coolers underneath. Okay, after measuring off the van and what length and width and everything I needed to fit the trifold mattress I got off of Amazon into the van, I started with this and it has foldable ends for when I'm not using it in the van and I put the seats all back in as a passenger van, I can fold the sides down and easily store it away. This van had a rear seat that is electric and it folds down and then I used that extension I built to put the mattress over the back seat laid down and the extension. Super comfortable. Okay, so van lighting. We're going on to that now because when you're camping you don't want to use the van's battery you know to keep the interior lights on right so it needs its own setup all right here we go with this lighting setup I'm about to do it had to have its own battery so it, it is not running off the van's power at all then we have to get our wiring we have to get our strips of LED warm white we have to get the connectors for the wiring that goes from wire to the LED lights and we needed switches so here we go I made a switch panel back by our heads when we're laying on the bed with two switches because there's three circuits here one so you got the driver side strip going up you got the passenger side strip going up and you've also got a rear across the back doors now when you open the side door the single switch here is when you open the side door you can just boop flip it right on it's just inside the side door now after running wiring all through this van to each circuit here's the top one the center I call it the little island in the middle of the roof so that one there lights up off of the door switch which also inside that front cabinet there's an LED light also operated off the door switch this is the passenger side. It's split in two pieces. There's one over the door and there's one over the rear window, rear side window. They run off the double switch in the back, one of the switches back there. This is the driver's side. It's one continuous straight strip all the way down the side underneath the uh, conversion van, you know, that nice wood that they've got up there. It's up underneath that. And it lights up the whole left side of the van. And then there's the rear doors. The strip goes across the back of the van. So that when you open the back doors. You flick on the switch. That runs the passenger side of the van. Also runs this little strip. So you can see stuff in the back. And I also have this panel. Connected to the separate battery. Where I can monitor the voltage coming out of it. And we can use it to charge our phones and whatnot. Worked out great. Those LED lights sure do light it up inside at night. You really only need like the driver's side long strip. Drop in a quick video here of one of our camp spots. We stayed there four days. It was four days and three nights right on the river. One of the most relaxing vacations we ever had. And this was after I did all this work to the van and got it all set up for camping. And boy, let me tell you, it was comfortable. We've got a couple of camping videos on our YouTube channel, if you go back and look, uh, some of our little outings, but we sure do love camping with it. We had a couple of campers, pull behinds, but this thing's way easier to deal with, and honestly, way more comfortable. And at this particular campgrounds, cell phones don't work, so you're pretty much off the grid, you're on your own, so having the van set up the way it's set up, worked out perfect. All we did was listen to the river for four days. It was great. Well, folks, that's it on my conversion van made into a camper. Anybody can do it. 
if you're uh, looking to do a conversion van camper type setup that's what I did you know maybe it'll work for you like I said before we had pull behind campers and man, that's just a pain in the butt and the bed in this van is way more comfortable than the three pull behind different pull behind campers that we had so well, that's it for this one folks I appreciate you stopping in we'll catch you next time Thank <laughs> you.